Meanwhile, President Trump taking on the judges, weighing in on his travel ban, denouncing the courts as political yesterday. I don't ever want to call a court biased, so I won't call it biased. And we haven't had a decision yet. But courts seem to be so political. His Supreme Court nominee, Judge Neil Gorsuch, calling the documents demoralizing and disheartening. So did the president pick the wrong fight? Let's bring in Fox News legal analyst Bob Massey. He's also the host of Property Man. Good, Good morning. morning to you, Bob. So he's saying he, he doesn't want to call the courts bias. He's not going to call the courts bias. But are the courts being biased, the Ninth Circuit? I, I would prefer, honestly, that the executive branch, whether it be President Trump, Obama, and any other president, sort of stay away from profiling their personal opinion uh, about, about judges, federal judges or otherwise. And the reason I say that is because we have the separation here of the three branches. And let the lawyers do their job. Let them advocate, Ainsley. But I don't, I don't, I would prefer not go that way. I understand the frustration. We as lawyers understand certain things, but the president, stay over there and have your opinion silently. Sometimes you, you shouldn't say what you're thinking just because. But, you know, I obviously support what he's trying to do, but I like the executive branch to stay very independent as to judges. Well, you know, uh, and you're in the legal business. However, historically, yes. we had Judge Napolitano on. And, you know, going back to Andrew Jackson, he was very critical of the courts. Teddy yep. Roosevelt, critical of the courts. And then you had Barack Obama yep. at that State of the Union a number of years ago, where he actually called yep. out the Supreme Court about Citizen United. And you had one of the justices going, oh, boy. And Donald Trump has said the courts yep. are making decisions on national security. Shouldn't that be up to him and to the advisors and the generals? We definitely know that certain judges legislate from the bench. We know it's been a problem for years. Nobody loves Judge Apolitano more than I do. That guy teaches me more about con law than anybody on the planet. But the bottom line is, I still think that, I think they're so, uh, Steve and Angie, I think they're so juiced up to make things happen as to what they said in the campaign. But I think there's a way to slow it down. Who am I? I'm a citizen just talking the way I see it through my eyes. And that is... You know, get the attorney general appointed, he is. Mm -hmm. Get the Justice Finally. Supreme Court appointed, he is. You know, go, yeah, exactly. You have a CIA director who say, look, keep our country safe. I'm going to be coming out with some executive orders and sort of do it a little more of a timely way. Because what I think is this, some of this could potentially have been prevented if maybe certain things were in order first, saying that this is who we have, this is the kind of man he is, this is why he got elected. This is why he is loved by many and obviously disliked by many. But he's our guy, and this is the guy that we have, and he wants to do the things to help protect our country. Sure. It's going to be interesting to see what this Ninth Circuit says. Uh, we know that we've got, what, two Democrat appointees and one Republican. So many say two, one, probably go to the Supreme Court. It could be, but, it, you know, the president says it seems like there is a bias or politics is involved. But when uh -huh. you do look at the fact that it is the most overturned court of appeals in America. It is. And they have had so many lefty decisions. And you look at, you know, yes. Trump, Trump's a, a sportsman. He, he looks at the score. Two Democrats against one Republican. Is he kind of working the refs here by putting out comments? Yeah, he is. I mean, look, nobody positions people better than he does. They, you know, one of the things that people have to understand, he's still the smartest guy in the room. Whether you want to believe it or not, I don't really care. The guy's a smart guy, and he knows how to posture himself. What I didn't like is I didn't appreciate a federal judge, again, as an officer of the court, I say this respectfully, saying some of the things this federal district judge said several months ago. Again, I think each position, guys, need to sort of be reserved and respect the revenue of the position mm -hmm. and let it play out. Unfortunately, this is a very, very vocal presidency, and we only have, you know, another three, how many, almost four years left. So it's interesting and exciting at the same time. All right. Bob Massey, our Fox News Channel legal analyst. Thank you so much, Bob. Great to see you.